cancer, and you guys don't give a f Do some more abusive ass shit. I have all your names. Go ahead. Thank you. Ow! Ow! Shoot me already, please. I can't breathe. On June 26th, 2021, officers responded to a residence following a report of a woman causing a domestic disturbance. Come in here, officer. Come on. What's going on? These two are out of control. Hitting each other, hitting each other, fighting. What's going on? Well, if you like to, where do you want? Where would you like to start? I want you to come out here and have a seat for me. All over her face. Well, she didn't spit on my face. Come out here and have a seat. That's you spitting. There's nowhere to have a seat. On the ground. On the steps. Come here. Can I have a cigarette? No, you can come out here and have a okay. seat. Guess what? I will sit here, but I'm the one with Mark. Do not sit down. Yep, here you go. Here there you go, sir. You two have IDs on you? No, I'm not bleeding right here, bleeding right here, bleeding right oh. here. No, I'm not bleeding. <laughs> You're the kind of Grab that chair there and have a seat in it for me, ma'am. You? Grab that chair and have a seat in it for me. Good. Okay, can you step over there for me? Hey, stop digging around and have a seat in the chair. Sit down. I don't have to sit down because I'm not under arrest. I'm not doing anything wrong. I haven't done shit wrong. And I need to get a drink because I'm hyperventilating. No, you're going to sit down or I'm going to make you sit down. So it's your choice. I'm a lawyer. Please go ahead. Sit down. I can get a drink. I'm entitled to one. Stop resisting. I'm not a real. Put your hands behind your back. You are hurting me. You Stop resisting. Okay, Derek Chauvin. All right. No, I was sleeping. I was sleeping. He just fucked up my back. Sit down. Sit Let down. go of me and I will sit down. No. Sit down. I'm going to help you down. No, you already helped me enough. Sit down. You helped me enough. You going to get me a drink? Stop. No, you're going to sit down. Sit down. See, Bron. You want a drink? Put her in your car. I need a drink. Yeah, look what he did to my back. Look at the f he did to my back. Wow, you guys are fing. Wow, dude. I have cancer, and you guys don't give a f. Keep pulling away like that. You'll get a charging, a resisting charge, too. I'm not a resisting. I Keep asked pulling for away a like that. drink. Look Sit at down. my back. Can you see the scar on my back? I have cancer. Okay, that doesn't mean you're allowed to do anything to your dad. It doesn't mean that, but I, I could ask for a drink, right? I don't have any drink to give you. I do you have do anything on you that's going to poke you stick? In my room, I do. Do you have anything that's going to no, poke stick? No, I don't. Cut? I'm not a drug user. No, I don't. All right. I'm a Pretty. cancer patient. That's what I am. Wow. You guys made me bleed, make my back f***ed up even more. Yeah, I want a report of all of this, because this is ridiculous. I did not do nothing wrong. She didn't have any weapons on her, but I didn't search her. I don't even know what's going on. I have no idea what's either. What's in? I'm, I can't! In. Put your feet in! Dude, put your hands on me Sit physically in. like you just yes. did? Put your feet in. Ask now. me, ask me! I already did it. No, the f*** you did it. Okay. I'm the one bleeding, and yet I'm the one that, that's sitting in the back of a cop car right now. Well, because look at how you're acting. I'm acting like that because he threw me on the ground. You weren't there for that. You weren't there for that, but they have cameras. Okay. And, and so okay. do we. I know, your brotherhood. It's okay. My brother's a lawyer, too. It won't be hard to pull any kind of camera, footage, anything. And I'm a paralegal. And I work for Eric Sloan, right on Granada, right over here. Good for you. Good for you. That is not how you treat anybody. Do you realize that? Or are you just so used to it that it doesn't even affect you? Or you just have no human feelings whatsoever? What is it? <laughs> apparently, with that blank look on your face, I'm apparently, you were raised really f***ed up. Who is she to you? My daughter. Your daughter. Who is she to you? My wife. My daughter's wife. They're married. Okay. What happened tonight? I don't know. I was sleeping. I well, woke up to 
all of this commotion. Well, what did you see and what did you hear? Fighting. What? what can you expound on that for me? Fighting, getting. I don't even know what happened because just got home from work very late, this girl, and then Emma was asleep. And I was not... Hang on, I'll, hang on. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? And I was, I was asleep, and then I woke up to all of this throwing sh around the room and name calling, hitting. Smacking. Who was hitting who? Both of them. Smacking. Me. Well, what was it about? I was really just defending myself. I uh, hey, hey! I said I'd be with you in a minute, okay? I'm gonna talk to you. Who was hitting who? Well, Pamela was hitting, spitting on her. She was hitting her. Over what? I don't know. I don't know what it was about. But she's on Xanax. Okay. She's on Xanax and she thinks everybody stole them from her. That's why. Yeah, she's on and Xanax and she them. thinks everybody stole her Xanax from her. Okay. That's Can you step out here for me? Yes, sir. What's going on tonight? Um, okay, well, I got home from work about 8 o'clock. Okay. And then I come, I come in. She's in the bathroom. Her dad's passed out. I done talked to her dad at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. He said that... Pamela was completely obliviated. What does that mean? Obliviated, like uh, trashed. On what? Xanax. Okay. Okay, in that some Christian lady, she met some Christian lady some, at some point today, and that he fell asleep during the day. He said, I just, this is why I'm at work, he's talking to me now. I woke up to Pamela laying on the ground, and the lady from the church. Helping her up off the ground, she couldn't even get up off the ground herself. So I come back and it's eight o'clock at night. I just got off work. She's in the bathroom. She's passed out over the toilet in the sink. Both hands, one on the toilet, one on the sink. Passed out. And I said, Pamela. I said, What's going on? I said, Do you want to get in the shower with me and try and wake up? She said. Why would I do that? All this stuff that makes no sense, that my dad came here with his girlfriend, and I haven't talked to my dad in two years, all this stuff that makes no sense, which is completely pointless to go into. Okay, and then we come out here, she's screaming and yelling about how her dad stole her Xanax, and that... I said, Pamela, your dad, I just talked to your dad, your dad seems completely sober, you're the one that seems trashed, I'm pretty sure you took more than you think you did, and you're blaming Paul for taking them. Then it, then it, then now that I stuck up for Paul, it's that I took her Xanax. I took her Xanax. I took all her stuff. I'm a piece of shit. I'm this. I'm that. And then I try to leave and say I'm tired of dealing with this. I'm tired of dealing with her and her Seroquel and her Xanax and her rants and raves. Where the next day she doesn't remember shit. So I go to pack my stuff and she's literally ripping my bags out of my hand. My bags have no straps on them. Ripping my bags out of my hand so I can't leave and it's a uh, the neighbors as the neighbors who was hitting who okay as the neighbors who was hitting who she's spitting in my face i'm pushing her back she's coming back she's punching me in my face i'm pushing her back ripping me by my shirt i'm pushing her back all right, there's are, about are 100 you, people i hear that can, are you injured at all there's about 100 people i hear that can coast do you have any injuries on you no yeah you my neck and stuff just from her let me see your neck around. lean your head forward and then she's Fighting with her dad, so I had to rip her off of her dad. He's 61 years old, and she's got him on the bed, and she's like pinning him down the ground. Then he falls back against his table, his back and everything. So I'm ripping her off her dad like a like she's a complete animal from the zoo. She jumped on her dad too and pushed him on the bed. She jumped on her dad about four times. Yeah. Okay. All these people were standing outside. The door was wide open. If you really want to know, ask everybody, and they'll say the same exact story. Okay, we'll get there. All these medications are hers? Those are his. Those, Those are his? his? Okay. She was throwing everything around in the room. Y'all are... Phone now? Let me show hang, you hang on, hang on, hang on. Y'all are married? Let me show you a video. Okay, hang I on. I have three of them from tonight. Y'all are married? We're engaged. Okay. Um, listen, you got some spit on your shirt. Don't, don't mess with it. Just leave that there, okay? Yeah, but I spit on her, right? Okay. I got kicked across the room. Who kicked you? Her. Pamela? Why'd she kick you? Because I tried to get my phone. She took your phone from you? Yeah. Why'd she, why'd she take your phone? I was calling the cops. Oh, okay. So did she get it from you? No, I got it back. But she did get it from you? Yeah. Okay. Did your daughter push you down on the bed? She was on the bed. She used her feet and kicked me across the room. She kicked you across the room while she was laying on the bed? Yeah. She didn't jump on you on top of the bed and hold you down? No?
How'd she get your phone from you? She uh, kicked it out of my hand and it went, uh, it went to the doorway and then she stepped on it. And that's when she knew you were trying to call 911 she kicked it? Yeah. All right. How old are you? 71. idea. I don't know what's happening. I literally just got here. And you've been yelling and screaming I've been the yelling time. and screaming because your officer threw me on the ground. He made me start bleeding for no fucking reason. He literally tore off my other shirt, my night shirt, and told me, slammed me on the ground as a female. Okay. And now he's saying he went to school with her. So whose side do you think he's going to take? First of all, me and him arrived on... I'm not even going to get into this video. Stop with those cops. Well, then I'll unloosen them. No, I will not. Okay, then I'm going to take them off. I've done it a million times before. Gagner, come here. Come here. Yeah, hurry up. Please come here. Please come here because your useless female officer won't take these cuffs. I don't loosen them. She slipped her cuffs in the front. I did? I slipped them? You liar. They were behind you when we put you in the vehicle. They are now in front of you, so therefore you did move them. Okay, that's funny because I'm bleeding all over my arm and all over my so leg. I, I, Can you please loosen them? No. And she's okay. trying to get them off, so I would like to make sure that they're fucking double locked. Wow, this is like Doctor. Sh uh, this is like Officer Chauvin and Officer. I'm not. Don't touch me. I don't trust you. Don't touch me. You settle down enough where we can talk now. Yeah, no? I, I sit her down with you, not with her. Okay. Oh, okay. So you want to talk to me now? I will talk to you. Okay. What's going on tonight? There wasn't anything going on. I was in a dead sleep. A dead sleep. Jessica, my girlfriend, went out for the night, came home, and started throwing my shit off the bed. This is not the first time that she's put her hands on me. My nose right here is broken from... I mean, I don't know if you can still see it, but you should be able to. If you let me out, you'd be able to see it. It has been non-stop. Non-stop. That's my father, not hers. It's my father. Mm -hmm. She talks about him constantly. I have to literally take care of her. I have to take care of her, my own father, and try to find us a place to stay. Okay. I was sound asleep when they just got here. Sound asleep. Now I have, I am so literally what, bleeding li everywhere. Listen, listen to me. What's your first name? Pamela. Pamela? Yeah. Okay. Pamela, what started the argument tonight? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you because I was asleep. You don't know? I was asleep. I was asleep. My whole purse is emptied out. Everything's gone out of my purse. Everything's missing. I don't have shit left. Okay, so once you woke up, what what was the screaming and stuff about? I didn't wake up. She woke me up and asked no, no, where no, that's her what drugs I'm saying. were. That's where what her, I'm saying. Where her, wherever her stash was, her drugs, that I did them. I said, go through all of my stuff. I don't have anything. I've been sleeping since last night. Like, so, so the argument once you were woken up was about drugs? drugs. Okay. About marijuana, about, I mean, literally, I don't even know because I've been asleep with my dad. Okay, all right, hang tight, Pamela. Hey, what's your name? Pamela. Pamela? Yeah. What, what's going on tonight, Pamela? Don't let her spit, though. She's not happy with us. Don't let her what? Nothing. Talk to her. What's you going on? You threw me down on the ground. Hey, no, I Pamela. I'll what's talk going to on? you, What's yes. going on? I was sound asleep. Okay. Sound asleep. In the bed, my girlfriend gets home from bar or wherever the hell she was, drunk, and starts going through my sh throwing sh across the room, as you can see. Threw me on the ground. I have bruises everywhere. My nose, my nose is completely f and it totally hurts all the way around here. I'm bleeding. I mean, I have a million marks. She doesn't have one. 
Okay. How does that how how does that work? That's why I'm trying to figure it out. How does that work? That's so, my father, okay. not hers. So you were just sleeping, all of a sudden you're getting beat up? No, I was sleeping. Me and my dad were sleeping. Okay. He was in one bed, I was in the other. She comes in from Saints and Sinners or some place like that, totally wasted, walks through the door and starts destroying my shit. Destroying it. I don't know where anything is. I don't know where one possible item of mine is. I don't have my purse, my wallet, my cell phone, my kids, numbers, nothing. Okay. <laughs> nothing. So how'd you get all these marks and stuff if you don't... If she just destroyed the place. How did what? How'd you get all these marks and everything if she just destroyed How the place? How did I? Yeah, you're claiming that you got marks and everything from her, right? I, do you, are you saying I don't have marks? I'm asking you how you got the marks. Well, for one, I literally got pushed against the bathroom with the door shut so I would stay in the bathroom by myself. Then he or one of the other officers, I'm not sure if it was you or somebody else, put me outside and slammed me on the ground so that I would stay there. Then the other lady put me in here, put my handcuffs on so extremely tight that I can't do anything. So I do have marks. I have marks everywhere. I do. Okay, so not from her destroying the place, but from officers is what you're saying? I mean, this there's marks from your officers. Okay, all right, I'll be back. There's little things, there might be little things. Pamela, can I take a photo of you? Yes. Just stay seated for me, okay? Do what? Just stay seated for me. Okay. So you and Jess have been together for like four years, and but you're not married yet? We're not married yet. Um, Jess actually got into a little bit of trouble and went to prison. For what? Racketeering. Yeah, I grew up in Deltona with Jordan and Jess. And So how did you and Jess meet? Um, Jess and I met uh, actually my... My mom was buying a car, and it was a thousand dollar car, and um, it was a stick shift, um, Chrysler Sebring, and we, so my mom's like, you guys can test drive it, you know, it's going to be twelve hundred dollars all together. So we go, we just started getting attacked by pigeons on the beach, like, I don't know if they're pigeons or seagulls, but they started attacking yeah. us. Um, we had so much fun. I mean, we really did have so much fun. And then, um, her mom called the cops. Didn't press charges. Just for what? The car returned. Oh, for stealing the car? <laughs> My mom bought me a, um, a Honda a CRV. Um, she doesn't like dress because of the whole lesbian thing. But you're a lesbian too. I am. So does, do you and your mom not get along too? Oh, who cares as long as you guys are happy? I know, but she doesn't care. Well, whatever it's happened... It's a struggle, like... It happens, it's, that's part of life. But, you know, what are you going to do? Be, you know, not be, be unhappy your whole life, or...? Well, whatever happened tonight, it just, it just needs a cooling off period. You guys need to separate. Pamela, real quick, I'm going to read you something. <clears throat> I don't know if they already did, but I'm going to do it anyway. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney. Have him or her with you now at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be with your rights in mind. Are you willing to talk to me? Yes. Okay. Hey, so they were telling me that you were sleeping and then all of a sudden you woke up to take some pills and you noticed they were missing. At that point, you started becoming destructive and aggressive oh. to the point to where you're that kicking. Not the key. That was not what happened. I was so I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, but... Did at any point did you kick them over your pills or kick the phone out of their hand when they tried to call 911? That's my phone, no. No, I did not. Okay, so you're denying everything that happened. That's my father. My uh, father, okay, not that, her. I'm just asking you. Are you denying everything that they're accusing you they of? They can say whatever they want, I guess. Okay, well then tonight you're going to jail for domestic violence battery, okay? Well, well I mean, would there have been any other option? Well talking to you. I'm trying to figure everything I'm out. I'm trying to talk to you too, but like they're making it seem like I will leave today. I have a place Well, we're to not go. doing that. I'm There's saying, accusations of battery and you guys are related. I'm saying not, not with them. I can leave to go to There's a, a minister. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're not leaving. When there's accusations of battery, 
and people get attacked and you live together, you don't get the choice to just walk away. Well, then you just said, I said, well, would that be the case anyway? And you said, well, I'll get... So, whatever you talk to Officer Morris about, he documents, and that's what the judge is going to read tomorrow. So, just because you'd be arrested tonight doesn't mean that you're going to be convicted. So, the judge would be able to see your side of the story if you want to answer questions for him. <laughs> well, that's funny that they're going to sit there and lie. That's fine. You don't have to answer questions. Well, listen, so. I have, I, I, I do take medication. I, what I kind have of cancer. Okay. I literally... Was there medication in the room when you woke up? No, I didn't get a chance to. She has my purse. She has everything because she controls my whole life. Okay. I need a drink. I have cancer. I okay. think, I think, literally, I take you. Here's the deal. We're putting those cuffs back behind your back. You keep slipping them, we're going to have issues. I'm not slipping them! You put them up front, didn't you? Step out. Are you going to make me drag you to my car? Are you really going to? Step out. Can you give me a minute to catch my okay, breath? Okay, step out. It's cooler out here than in a hot back it car. It doesn't matter. I can't catch my breath. Okay. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Thank you. No, we're going to do it now. Yes, I need my drink! Stop yelling. I need my lean. cancer bed. Okay, lean against the car, please. You're making this way harder than no, it has to be. No, you are. Am I? Yeah. Okay. You're being a little too rough to deal with the female. Okay. Hey, listen, Pamela. They don't want to pursue any charges. Yeah, they... Okay, no, then why no. am I going? Because the minute that you fight with me... Did I hit you? You don't have to hit me. What did I do to fight with but you? But when I told you to sit down on the ground and put your hands behind your back, you resisted me. Okay, listen, they don't want to pursue any charges against you, okay? You understand? So what is this for then? What is this for? Okay, we'll explain it to you in just a minute. No, you guys won't explain it to you. I'll, I'll explain it to you. We're getting two, three, four, five completely different stories. I need a drink. I can prove to you that I have cancer. You can lift my shirt up and be able to see. If I give you some water, are you going to calm down? Water, yeah, water would okay. be nice. Okay, listen, listen to me. Let them do what they have to do and I'll get you a bottle of water. I'm putting your wristband back on your hand. Here, I got a sealed bottle of water right here. Look, there you go. Okay, we'll get it to you in a second. She's gonna search you real fast. When you sit down, we'll give it to you. Stay against the car. Up against the car. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, or harm me? I was asleep, Bill. Get out there. Ace, up against the car. You don't have to do that to me. Why are you kicking my leg? Because I asked you to lean up against the car. Okay, you didn't ask me before you kicked me. The f when you sit down, we'll give you water. Okay. And I'd like my pills. All right, let me see your foot. Can I see your foot, please? This foot. Uh, you had that foot already. All right. Please, Pamela. Kick your says. feet in. Kick your feet in. Kick yeah. your feet in. Water. Thank you. Dude, this is, I want to speak my, to my dad about it. Okay. Uh, you want water? <coughs> if you're going to choke me. I, I can't really control how quick you can drink. Well, I could have drank it myself. Okay. Dude, I want okay. to speak to my father. Okay, do you want water? I want to speak to my father. So that's a no on the water. Okay. Go ahead and kick your feet in. No, I want to so I speak to okay. my father to make sure he's okay. No, I think. All right. Well, what? Okay. One more. I went to go shut the door, and she kicked her feet out, refusing to shut the door. So I'm not gonna deal with it. She's gonna be hobbled down. No. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There's cameras. So I shoved her in there and shut the door, and then she started standing up in there. Hey. hey. Why are you kicking? <laughs> Put your feet down. Uh, no, I can't because he fucked up my back. Have you seen my back? I just had surgery. Put your feet down. Just had surgery. You're going to put your feet down? Oh, give me my shit. You want to give him your feet? He just pulled my mm -hmm. whole back onto. Dude, you yeah, him take him. Take him. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Do some more abuse about I have all your names. Go ahead. Thank you. Put your feet in. No, not that tight. 
Put your feet in. Not that f***ing tight. No. Come on, come over. I don't have anything to hook to. I think I can just slam it in the door. I'm just going to go right to jail. And say supplemental follow. Drop her off and then we're going to have to get her out there now. Okay. Hey, I'm going to push her and just crack it. What? Why is she screaming like this? I have no idea. You know how she's been all night. She's kicking the door. No, no, her back is up. You see I her understand. back? Well, she's kicking the door. So... Did you see her scar on her back? We did not because she's not been cooperative with oh us the entire God. night. Well, quit yelling. No, you're not letting me breathe. I can't breathe. All you gotta do is stop oh yelling. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Let me Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Help me. No. Oh, they're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. Please get me out. Stop banging before you get pepper sprayed. I can't breathe. Please. Stop. You're about to get fucking pepper spray. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need help. Please help me. Please. Oh. Huh? Oh. 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 O
Come on. Catch your breath. I can't. I need a drink. I need my fucking cancer meds too. You didn't get any of that stuff. Why are you holding my arm so tight? I'm not. Yes, you are. Look at my feet and tell me put you're not your doing that tight. Put your feet down. Can you look, can you check them for me? If you put your hands behind your back. I will let nope, go and nope, I will put my hands nope. behind. Put your okay. feet down. You don't. Stop. No, you don't have to be rough. I'm not being rough yes, with you. Yes, you are. Put your hand behind your back. If you weren't, then I wouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, put them on as tight as possible so I can take lots of pictures. Put my finger in there. Yep. Let me see your feet. Okay, yeah, well, I'm sorry. I can't really move them. And you don't think that's too tight? You don't think that's too tight? Ow, ow, ow! That's not tight. You're, rub you're rubbing the skin off my leg! Put your feet back in the car. <laughs> Oh my God, you... Listen to me. If you keep acting like that, they're gonna... I can't breathe. Listen. What do you want me to do? Listen, listen. You keep acting like that, they're gonna spray you with pepper spray. No, I, yeah, spray me. Okay. One more thing to add. To listen, your list. we don't want to, soon. but you need to stop. No, you want to. Somebody wants to. No. He does. You do. No. Somebody. We want to get you out of the car. Yeah, sure you do. Okay. Yep, that's what you want. But you don't care about what I want. Can you you don't care about me needing my 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 cancer meds. You don't Tom, care about that. can you hand me your seatbelt? I don't have any control over your medications. You're not allowed to have it out of the jail. So whatever kind of medications stop. I'm not getting no. I'm not getting strapped in when I'm already it's claustrophobic. It's a seatbelt. I don't care. It's a seatbelt. I don't care. I don't know what you, you guys to are going to do. It. Okay, to let's see how tight and you guys do this. Shit. Just relax. And I need every one of your badge numbers. Eric Sloan, 555 Granada Boulevard. That's who I work for. He's a lawyer. I need all of your bull. I need every single one of your badge numbers. And Sandra Manusek, she works 309 Grand Duvet Avenue. Civil defense. Sticks up for you guys. Until now. Yeah, do it as tight as you can, okay? Do it as tight as you can. That way when, when I stop breathing, it doesn't come back on you, right? But you didn't scratch up my elbow hey. right there. You didn't do that. Hey. You didn't do that. You ready? You didn't do that, right? No. I got you. I got you. Okay. So I can have however much you what? give me, right? <laughs> this is such a. Ready? Catch your breath. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to. Well, to drink the water, you're gonna have to. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Do you have my phones? I don't, how do I have any numbers to be able to call anybody? God, you guys really didn't do this shit on purpose though, right? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Are you good? Yeah. Alright. Right. He's gonna take you straight out to the jail so you can get out of the back of the car, okay? Yeah. Three hours later. <laughs> I can't even hear my radio or speak on because she's screaming so loud. What can you do? You guys are a bunch of lying ass hypocrites, bro. Lying ass hypocrites. You're gonna get pepper sprayed. Stop I kicking my door. Oh, okay. Here we go. I can't breathe and you're not letting me out. I don't care right now. Yeah, you don't care ever. I've been trying to be I've been trying to be compliant and helping you. Roll this window down. It don't go down. It's broke. You like you like to prey on the weak, huh? You look like you do, Matt. I really don't care about I've never done meth a day in my life. I'm a paralegal, you stupid fat I'd rather be fat than look like I do meth, so. I'd rather be, you know, I, uh, that's, sad. <laughs> that's sad. It's not sad. At least I'm not in the back of a cop car. Yeah, well, you should be. You should be, because you, him, and all your other buddies, they're all fucking liars. You guys are fucking corrupt as fuck. And I know because I'm doing a whole investigation on you guys right now. 
555 West Granada Boulevard. Eric Sloan. Talk to him. I'm sure Eric's going to love having a jailbird as an employee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did anybody yeah. even run her? Some more Someone tarts. should have. Eat some more Pop-Tarts, buddy. I don't even eat Pop-Tarts. Man, these are all oh, meat sweats. Oh, sorry. sorry. It's beer and meat. Get it right. Be fucking, uh, pop, uh, what? Toaster strudel? What is it? Oh, I just told you. Beer and meat. Open your fucking ears. Beer and meat. Jesus Christ. You fucking desk too? You're real proud of yourself. I bet, you know what? I bet you live out in the fucking hall right? In a trailer? Yee yee. Well, not in a trailer. I live in a villa. I'm about to key up. Oh, a villa that they pay for here? 5653 on top. No, Daddy paid for it, actually. But. Daddy did? Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't hear you. She's kicking my door. Pamela Bayuk was charged with resisting an officer without violence, tampering with a witness, battery, and battery on a person 65 years of age or older.